here at Daly's Nursery, we propagate our fruit trees by different techniques. We grow plants from seed, we grow cuttings, we make marcots or air layers, we also graft plants and we use these different techniques for different reasons. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what the different techniques are and why we use them. So this beautiful tree is a longan and this variety is called the kahala. So if you want to grow a kahala longan, which is going to produce beautiful fruit just like this and is going to fruit in a short period of time, you need to choose either a grafted or a marcotted tree. And that means that you're actually taking a part of this mature tree and you're propagating it to get a small plant that's ready to start fruiting. What is a marcot? Well, a marcot is basically a big cutting that is done on the tree. And if you have a look here at our longan, we have marcots on the tree at the moment. So what you do is you take off a layer of bark and the cambium layer and then pack that wound with some peat moss or we use coir, coconut coir. The cutting will produce roots into that coir pack. Once the roots form on the tree, you can cut it off and pot it up and you'll have a beautiful longan plant that's going to produce fruit exactly the same as the mother tree and it's going to produce those fruits straight away. Now we also grow our longans from seed and I have here some freshly picked longan seeds. These are kohala seeds, but when I plant these and grow them, they're not going to grow true to type. So they will be genetically different from one another. So there are advantages and disadvantages of growing plants from seed. So firstly, it's going to be a really strong tree. It's going to be vigorous. It's going to grow into a large tree. So this is a great choice if you're in a marginal climate. If you're outside of the natural growing range of a plant, but you really want to have a go at growing it, a seedling can be a really good option because of the vigor that they have. But the disadvantage is that it has to go through its natural growth phase. It has to mature and this can take many, many years. So it can take eight to 10 years for this plant to mature, to start to flower and fruit. And if you have lots of space for big trees, seedlings are really economical ways of actually growing plants and really establishing beautiful trees. So I think they're great. And this is a beautiful plant to grow a longan seedling. Now longan trees can also be grafted. I've collected a couple of pieces of sign wood uh, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for something that has buds that haven't actually pushed growth. So I've just picked these and I'm going to take them over to the grafting department and see if I can find someone there who can be, give me a few expert tips on how I can graft my longans and have a greater chance of success. So here we are in the grafting department and I have Erin with me who is our expert grafter. Yeah, let's have a okay. go, Erin. Okay. So what do we need? We need a sharp grafting knife. Right. Very sharp. We need some grafting tape. This Which is florist tape. Florist tape, double layer grafting tape. Yep, and it, st it sticks to itself. Mm -hmm. And we need the rootstock. So we have here the long and seedling rootstocks, which is what we're using. We're going to graft up onto the softer, newer growth. So if we graft down here, it's going to be really hard to cut, isn't it? That's right, yes. Yes. Up higher, it's much easier. And the technique we're doing today is actually a top graft. Erin's cutting her rootstock. She just cuts down the centre. Yeah. So you actually want this cut on your sign to match the rootstock that you've cut. That's right. So you can see that that will be a good match. Yeah. So I'm going to put this one in about here. And it's just a fantastic skill to do. It means you can make your own multi-grafted trees if you wish to. So I don't know if you can see that, but the sign sits in there quite nicely. So do you want to show us how to tape that? We've got our tape and we just want to pull it in as tight as possible to keep the scion firmly wedged between those arms of the rootstock. So the idea of the tape, Erin, is to both hold the graft together 
Um, but the other really important thing is to keep the moisture out. So Absolutely. If we get the moisture in there, then that's going to lead to rot and a failed graft, and that is not what we want. So keep it as dry as possible. So as cutting grafts, these are actually going to go down on the misters. And um, so there's going to be quite a, a moist environment. So we want to keep all that moisture out of this grafted area. Okay, that's looking good. Beautiful. Yeah. So if you're unsure of what to choose for your orchard, should you choose a seedling or a grafted plant or a marcotted tree, the best thing is to consider your options. So if you want to grow a plant in a container or a pot, and if you want it to fruit quickly, a marcot, a cutting or a grafted plant are your best options. Because they're small mature plants, they're going to be a smaller and a more compact tree and they're going to fruit much quicker. If you want to grow a lot of trees and you have a lot of space, seedlings can be a really economical choice. You can plant out a lot of trees and if you have the courage to have a go, you can actually rework and top graft them later. You can actually add different varieties onto seedling trees. You can use them as rootstocks or you can just let them mature into the magnificent specimens that they're supposed to grow into. So it doesn't matter what you choose, the most important thing is to get out there and plant some fruit trees in your garden. Enjoy the process of propagating at home and really enjoy picking your own homegrown fruit. My name is Kath Kermode. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Please click on the bell to subscribe to our videos so you don't miss any and keep watching here at dailiesfruit.com.au.